Welcome to my tagging web series folks. In my previous videos, we saw the requirement of why we need to do the tagging and what are all the different types of tags that you can add to your resources. In today's video, we are going to see how you can actually do that. I'm going to show you a couple of methods of doing it. One of them is using the command line option. And another one is using the GUI option. So before going ahead and adding the tags, let us go ahead and see what resources we have in the account and then what kinds of tags that we would go ahead and add it. Here we are in the AWS dashboard and I am in the EC2 instances section and you can see here there are three instances running and at the moment that we have an name field which is empty and the environment tag that is empty and then the owner tag that is empty we have a lot of missing information and if I go similarly to my volumes tab I have opened it already and you can see here there are around six volumes here and only a couple of them have some information about environment and who is the owner so there is no easy way of identifying which volume is used by which instance and whether that instance is for running for test or prod or is it run by the business unit of customer service or HR. Likewise, I have also have some images in my account. For example, there is only one image that is built from Linux. And if I go ahead and select that image and go to the tag section, you find that there is only one tag which is called as owner and the value is also empty. So all this kind of missing information makes it difficult to find out who is it owning it. So let us go ahead and add some tags starting with our instance. So for doing that, I would need the instance ID so that I can go ahead and add a tag. So for instance ID, I'm just going to go ahead and select this and I already logged into my AWS CLI and kept it ready so that we can go ahead and add the tags. Here we are, let us go ahead and add the tags now. So the way to add the tag is the, as usual, the syntax starts with AWS and then we are going to add EC2. So let us go ahead and say EC2 and then we are going to add tags now. So let us say create tags and then we need to give the key and the value pair now. So let us say tags and then key equal to environment and value equal to test. And for which resource I need to give, that is what the instance ID is coming into picture now. So we have got the syntax right and then let us go ahead and press enter. So if we get the prompt again, that means that the tag has been already added. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add one more tag. I'm just going to change the key value as owner and then I'm going to change the value to mystique and then add the tag again. So let us go ahead and do that quickly. And we got the prompt. Let us go back to the dashboard and see what is happening there. Here we are in the dashboard. Let me go ahead and refresh my screen. So the first instance is the one that is selected currently doesn't have an owner and also doesn't have an environment. So let us go ahead and refresh the screen now. So there you go. You can see there a new tag for owner has been added and also a tag for test has been added. Likewise, I can also do for this instance also. So let me go ahead and copy this instance ID. So let's put in the instance ID now. And then I'm going to add the owner tag as well. And just going to copy paste this one again, press enter and we should have added those tags for that instance as well. So let us go ahead and refresh the screen here and you can see here the environment tag for this one is also added. Likewise, if I go to my volume section and if I want to add a tag for my volume, all I need is the volume ID. I've selected this one. Let's go to description and pick up the volume ID here. So put in the volume ID and press enter and if everything is right, you will get the prompt and let us go ahead and check it in the console now. So you see there the volume ID has been up, the environment value has been added for this volume as well. So if you want to, that is how you do it in your command line for volumes or resources in your account, all the ones that are supported by EC2 tagging API but it is time consuming, right? If you're going to go ahead and do that, you can write a script so that you can find out all the volumes which doesn't have the tag and go ahead and add it. But uh, if you are not come familiar with the scripting and you want to do it through the GUI, you can go ahead and do it here as well. So I'm just going to edit this environment field here and say test here. And also I'm just going to add the owner tag here. I'm going to say mystique. I'm just going to add a couple of mystiques, owners, 
I'm just going to add another one. So like this, you can go ahead and add them manually. So I, we also had an image. So I'm just going to add the image owner as well. So let us say AMI image here. So you can keep on going and ahead and adding tags for your resources through the GUI also. But as you might have noticed, this is going to be quite resource intensive and your effort intensive and you can have, make some mistakes when you're doing it. It doesn't scale up very much if you have resources in multiple environments and there are multiple resources. So the one best way to do that is go ahead and the resource group and you will find something called as a tag editor. And in the tag editor, what you can do is you can choose by region and let us say EU now because we are in the EU region. Select Frankfurt. And for now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click on instances. That is all what I want to tag and then I'm just going to choose volumes and then I'm just going to say what are the tagging minimum filter that I need and I'm going to say all the resources which are having the owner tag as mystique filter them and find them for me. So it is going to quickly run the search and it is going to give me a list of all the resources that are having the owner tag. So what I'm going to do now is for all these resources. I want to add one more tag and I'm just going to call this new tag as stage. And I'm just going to add this tag to all these resources now and I'm going to quickly add the stage as dev. And I can quickly do all the resources whether it is volumes or instances or if it is images or any other supported for example a subnet group or an VPC or or route tables all of them you can go ahead and add them. So this is one way of quickly bulk editing your tags. But once again, you might have noticed it still this requires some amount of manual work and you have to repeat them again and again. So that is why I say you need to have an automated way of managing your tags so that whenever a resource is created, then you can go ahead and add them or there are accounts or the companies which follow principles of saying when there is no tag, they don't allow the deployment as well. So tagging is really crucial and you should encourage your teams to go ahead and add your tags. If you have any questions or problems adding tags in your account, go ahead and put the comment section. I'd be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.